Pravit Moy Druzi. Hello, my friends. My name is Darren Gertis. I'm just a professor trying to help you understand context about what's going on in Ukraine. So the big story right now is uh, that Kiev says that it shot down a volley of hypersonic missiles. And at the same time, uh, you see that uh, Russia was claiming that they destroyed a Patriot battery. The truth is hard to find and you have to triangulate. And I perpetually have the problem of not being able to find reliable Russian sources. Actually, I'm curious. If you have reliable Russian sources, I don't mean RT, I don't mean TASS, I don't mean Pravda or other Russian state media, but reliable Russian sources. I'm curious what you listen to. Um, so here's here's what I've figured out here so far. So here's Reuters. Reuters is a pretty straight shooter. Um, Ukraine said on Tuesday that it has shot down six Russian Kinzel missiles in a single night. Now, these are the hypersonic, like sixth generation hypersonic that Putin was bragging about over the last few months, saying it's impossible to shoot these down. Well, apparently the Patriot missile can do it. Um, and they did it last Saturday, not this past Saturday, but the Saturday before. And Russia denied that. Now, the defense minister, Sergei Shogu, dismissed it. The RIA news agency reported his ministry said Kinzel had destroyed a U.S. Patriot surface-to-air missile system. Okay, so who's right? Well, the truth is somewhere in the middle, and I'll explain how. So I'm going to go through a number of articles and then four videos before we're done, and then you'll understand it as well as I do. Okay. Two U.S. officials said a Patriot system likely suffered some damage but had not been destroyed. So did they hit something? Yes. Did they destroy it? No. And I'm going to show you a little clip from Jake Bro. He does a really good job of, this, of describing how it's possible to have hit something without having destroyed it. And we'll explain that in just a moment. Let's go to RT first. Here's RT explaining the issue. This is Russian state media, if you're not familiar with RT. Patriot missile base in Kyiv destroyed by hypersonic strike, says Moscow. A precision strike by Russian hypersonic Kinzel missiles has destroyed a Patriot air defense system in Kyiv. The, uh, the defense ministry in Moscow reported on Tuesday. The Russian ministry confirmed the attack in a daily briefing on Tuesday, stating that it had used long-range precision weapons to hit military targets, including Ukrainian positions and places of storage munitions, weapons, and military hardware delivered from Western nations. So they're very proud of what they've, they, they believe that they've accomplished. I'm not sure. No, it could be that because they're not actually in Kiev, they might believe more of this. But I think they're just saying, I've shot these missiles at that thing. It's probably destroyed now. Um, and even if it's not, I'm still going to get the propaganda value. The Ukrainian government claimed last week that it had used Patriot System to achieve the first ever downing of a Kazal missile. That was not Saturday, but the previous Saturday, as I said. The projectile is a hypersonic weapon whose speed makes it practically impossible to be intercepted. Speaking with Russian media, anonymous sources in the Russian Defense Ministry dismissed the Ukrainian claim as wishful thinking. No, they didn't actually do it. There's evidence. We have the fragments, but no, they didn't do it. Some outlets suggested that Kiev had misidentified the breeze from a slower ballistic Iskander missile. Okay, so that's what they're saying. It wasn't that kind of missile. So here's a Russian general telling us about what the glorious Russian army has done. Tonight, the armed forces of the Russian Federation launched a concentrated strike with long-range sea-based high-precision weapons as a point of deployment of the armed forces of Ukraine, as well as of the places of storage of ammunition, weapons, and military equipment delivered from Western countries. The purpose of the strike was to achieve all assigned objects are hit, a high-precision strike by a hypersonic missile system, dagger in the city of Kiev, a U.S.-made Patriot and anti-aircraft system in the Donetsk direction, assault uh, detachments continued to conduct offensive operations in the western quarters of the city of Artem Artemisk. Subdivisions of the southern group of troops held back the enemy covering the flanks of the assault detachments. The most difficult situation developed the settlement of Kransny in the Donetsk People's Republic where units of the 4th Motorized Rifle Brigade repelled 10 attacks from the armed forces of Ukraine during the day. 
Air defense systems intercepted seven Storm Shadow long-range cruise missiles, three Harm anti-radar missiles, and seven HIMARS multiple rocket launchers during the day. So what he's saying is everything is glorious, we have achieved all our goals, and the enemy has done nothing to us. Generally speaking, both sides are getting hit or uh, trying to inflict damage on the other side. And if there's no damage at all on the other side, I'm not sure that the report is valid. Like, uh, Ukraine will rarely give this kind of press conference, we have gloriously defeated all the enemy. It, no, you know, we shot down 36 out of 42, but some got through, okay? Our, our air defense just isn't perfect. But this guy just, I mean, he, it, it's almost laughable when he repeats that everything every, is just coming up roses. Okay, here's such a mimus, and uh, what's going on here is he's showing the Patriot missiles going up into the sky, and what looks like something being hit or some flash. And I'll let him speak to it. Men, of course, from Russian sources who are unreliable at best. But this video here does show a large number of SAM launchers in Kyiv from last night. Now, I believe we're seeing two different systems in action here, as some of the rocket launchers do look different. The slightly slower, larger missiles at the start do look like they could be Patriot launchers. Then, part way through the video, we see multiple smaller missiles firing too, which do look different than the Patriot ones which we saw. I'm not sure what these ones could be, and I would appreciate any input in the comments. But I guess it's possible that Patriot has been integrated with a different, shorter range SAM system for point defence. Over 30 missile launchers of all types are seen, a Patriot battery, consists of eight launchers, each with four rockets. So a Patriot battery can fire 32 missiles. Now, the interesting bit comes at the end. There is a flash from the ground as something is hit. This occurred six minutes after the SAM launchers. So it does seem that Russia staggered its missile launchers, soaking up the SAM defences, with a final launch taking place after the first volley, which got through. But the big question, is it a Patriot? First of all, we see nothing except for a big flash. It could be anything. It could have hit its target, it could have landed on a random building. It's inconclusive. But it did land in around the same area. If this is a Patriot battery, then it would of course be a big loss. Okay, so he's giving some play-by-play -play to help you understand what's going on. Let's look at Al Jazeera just for a moment. Patriot missile system in Ukraine likely damaged, according to a report. Now, one U.S. official speaking on the condition of anonymity and citing additional information in Washington and Kyiv were already talking about the best way to repair the Patriot system. By the way, this is what one element of the Patriot missile system is going to look like, and there's multiple elements to the Patriot system. Here's the Guardian. Russia's uh, most potent hypersonic weapons are neutralized, says Ukraine. Ukraine has said it neutralized the Kremlin's most potent hypersonic weapons been shooting down six of six Kinzel missiles launched at Kyiv. Yuri Inhat, uh, a spokesperson for the Ukraine's Air Command, said that Moscow has also bombarded the capital with, uh, on top of the six, nine caliber missiles and three ballistic rockets, as well as six attack drones and three reconnaissance drones. All were shot down, he said, thwarting what he called air terrorism. The attack on Kyiv was one of the biggest since last year's invasion following and followed Zelensky's three-day trip to Europe. Now, this is the way that Putin does things. There's a, uh, you know, a meeting at uh, Ramstein or uh, a Ramstein, I'm sorry. Somebody, an alert viewer told me Ramstein is like Einstein. I mispronounced it the other day. Thank you. I appreciate being corrected. Or a NATO conference or some other big event, an EU conference. And then, you know, Putin will just hammer the cities with missiles just like to show his response or a tantrum or whatever it is. Uh, Russia's furious response came at 2.30 a.m. local time. Now, in one of these articles, it said something really interesting. Uh, there was only a stock of about 50 of these particular hypersonic missiles, and they just spent six of them. And the Patriot system defended pretty well. It w One was damaged, and I'll show you what damage means when I show you the Jake Bro clip. But... Uh, they defended against all of these other missiles, including six 
uh, hypersonic missiles. So it was a pretty good day for the Patriot defense system. Okay, here's CNN talking about the same issue. Amid a barrage of missile and drone attacks in Kyiv overnight, Russia is making a major claim that it targeted and destroyed one of these, an American-made Patriot air missile defense system. A U.S. official tells CNN it was likely damaged but not destroyed. Ukraine is not commenting, but it says that its air defenses worked against the large-scale attack, intercepting all 18 Russian missiles launched, including some of the most advanced in the Kremlin's arsenal. CNN's Nick Robertson is live for us in eastern Ukraine. Let's go there now. Nick, bring us up to speed on what we saw overnight in Kyiv, and if Russia's claim is true about this Patriot missile defense system, Put that into context for us. What's the significance? Russia has always wanted to target Western equipment coming into Ukraine, and nothing would give it greater satisfaction mm -hmm. than to take down the air defenses that Ukraine has put in place around the capital, Kyiv. They've been very effective. The Patriot missile system is the epitome of, of the strength of that defense, so Russia wants to target it. Indeed, Vitaly Klitschko, the mayor of Kyiv, has this evening said that he believes that this is what the Russians were trying to do, target that defense system. And that was the analysis last week as well. Russia gave uh, the defense systems, the air defense systems in and around Kyiv, an extreme test. Six hypersonic missiles fired from aircraft to the north of Kyiv, nine cruise missiles fired from ships in the Black Sea, and three of the Russia's large Iskander S-400 missiles fired to the east from Russian territory. Now, these uh, now, hypersonic... That's interesting because they came from all different directions, and so it was an extreme test. If you are an American that thinks, like, we shouldn't be involved, like, if nothing else, this is testing the American weaponry systems to see just the pushing it to its limits to see how well it's going to function. So you're actually getting something pretty significant out of this beyond helping Ukraine. Our missiles go... 10 times the speed of sound. So put it into context, Ukraine has said that it managed to defeat all the attacks on the city last night. Um, this is a, a significant accomplishment given yep. what was fired at it. However, we don't have further details yet on the damage, as such as it may be, uh, to the Patriot system. Okay, so th that's all I want to show from CNN. Let's see what Jake Bro had to say about it, because he, he shed a lot of light on it. Um, by the way, he's a former missileer, so I'm, I'm going to defer to his opinion about a lot of things related to missiles. Uh, and But he did a really good job unpacking this. I'm pretty sure that Ukraine's Ministry of Defense is having a little fun. Their quote of the day is from Buster Rhymes. Wuha got you all in check. And last night in Kyiv was pretty exciting. Russia launched a massive air and drone attack, trying to make this as complicated as possible for Ukraine's air defense systems. They launched from both land, sea, and air, different kinds of drones, different kinds of missiles, and Ukraine successfully shot down everything. Nothing hit its intended targets. So Russia launched nine caliber cruise missiles, three S-400s, six Iranian Shahid drones, three smaller Russian-made drones, and then six Kinzhal hypersonic missiles. This is Russia's wonder weapon. This is the weapon system that Russia is bragging about, saying this is our trump card. And, and, it, and it, is, it really is. I've seen lots of articles of Putin or other spokespeople in Russia actually saying there is no way that they can shoot this down. This is how we defeat NATO. This is how we defeat the United States. This Kinzhal is supposed to be nuclear capable. And what last night proved is that the American Patriot system can shoot it down. So... People who support Russia online are claiming that a Patriot air defense system was destroyed. But people who say that don't understand what a Patriot air defense system is. And this is what Jake helped me understand. And this is why I'm showing you this particular clip. Because this is what a Patriot battery looks like. And it's, ah, okay, I get it. It's numerous vehicles spread out. 
So this vehicle and this vehicle, they're 10 kilometers away. This unit and this unit are 30 kilometers away. The only way to destroy an entire Patriot missile defense system is with a nuclear weapon. So anybody online saying that a Patriot system was destroyed last night, they don't know what they're talking about. So last night, Russia spent $75 million hmm. to advertise how incredible the American Patriot-made air defense system is. Yeah, get that into your head. I mean, that's essentially what happened. <laughs> it's just, it's remarkable. Uh, Germany's donated one. The Netherlands has donated one. The United States donated one. And one more is on the way. So Russia has a serious problem in that their best missiles can no longer hit their intended targets. Yes, they're being shot out of the sky and debris is falling uh, on, on various places. Um, you can see pictures online of debris hitting, for example, a bus stop. But to my knowledge, nobody was killed. So huge, humiliating failure for the Russians last night. Okay, so I'm going to stop there with uh, with that. But this kind of sheds light on what actually happened. Going back to my first um, my my first article here in Reuters, that Keith says it shot down a volley of hypersonic missiles, as opposed to RT saying that the Patriot missile base in Kiev was destroyed. How do we know what happened? Well, I think that helps us understand what happened. All right. That's what we know. Uh, if you have any insight to share, please put it below. Thank you for caring. Thank you for listening to me. Thank you for the likes. Thank you for subscribing, the coffees. Thank you for being the kind of person that cares about Ukraine.